Hey guys, what is up? This is the official app showcase here, and today I'm basically going to be teaching you how to install the iOS 7 Beta 2 for the iDevices without a registered UDID. This is for me the safest way of how to install it, and yes, so um, first of all, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is basically go on to uh, the website, well first of all basically open up your browser, your preferred browser, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. I've got Google Chrome opened here, so um, go into that website, I'll link it down all below, and then as you can see here, um, there are many IPSW files you have. Um, choose the one which is specific um, right for your device. And then there will be um, two things. There will be direct and torrent. For this, um, we can choose any we want. So we can click torrent or direct, whichever is faster. Then download it. Then you should get an IPSW file like this with a Lego logo. And now, um, second of all, put it on your desktop so it's easier for easier access. And then what you have to do is click on iTunes, cl connect to your iDevice, click on your device, and then, uh, as you can see, I'm using my test device and it's backing up, so it's safer. So it's on 6.1.4 right now, and I've backed everything up. And whatever happens to your iDevice um, is not our fault. We're not held responsible. It's all your fault. You're doing this yourself. So yes, but there's very slim chances. So basically now... Um, just remember to back up your device just to be safe and keep a backup iOS 6 IPSW file. And now we want to go to our phone and or iPad and then basically we go um, option click on the check for update or either, uh, what is it, for Windows, I think it should be shift click, yeah. And whatever you do, do not press restore iPhone. If you press restore iPhone, it will ask you for your UDID. This flaw has been seen a lot of times and a lot of people have done that. But you should go option click and check for update. This way, you'll have everything that you have right now, all your applications done. So you go there, click, find it on your desktop, click on the IPSW file, and then click on it, double click on it, open it. And now it should ask you, so let's go update. And now it's preparing to extract the file. So yes, um, let it do this and I'll be back when it is done. So yeah. So now when we basically got everything set up, you'll see that Iris has been updated to 7.0 and you got the latest version of your firmware. So um, uh, there you have it. You've got the latest version of your firmware. Um, guys, so um, now let's just jump back over to the iPhone and um, see uh, that we've actually got iOS 7. So let's just jump to this. Let's go slide to unlock. So you can see a new lock screen, so it looks really nice. And the animation looks very good as well. Let's go settings. Then about, you'll see here <coughs> that it says the version is 7.0. Um, so there you have it. You have now got iOS 7. Uh, 7 running on your iDevice, so thanks you guys for watching, please like, rate and subscribe, and goodbye.